These are the formulae you will use in financial maths. Simple interest, compound interest, simple or straight line depreciation, compound depreciation, the formula to convert between nominal and effective interest rates, future value of an annuity, and present value of an annuity. When using any of these formulae, remember, to get an accurate answer, do all the calculations in one step on your calculator. Do not round off answers in your calculations until the final answer. A sinking fund is an investment fund that is set up to replace expensive equipment or items after a certain period of time. It is used as a savings account that will accumulate funds over a period of time which will enable the investor to purchase expensive items or to fund expensive capital outlays when needed. Let's look at an example of a sinking fund. 3D Print Company purchased machinery at a cost of 550,000 rand, which is expected to rise in cost at 15% per annum compound interest and depreciate in value at a rate of 8% per annum compounded annually. A sinking fund is started to make provision for replacing the old machine. The sinking fund pays 16% per annum compounded monthly and monthly payments are made into this account for 10 years starting immediately and ending one month before the purchase of a new machine. Determine 1. The replacement cost of a new machine in 10 years from now. 2. The scrap value of the machine in 10 years time. 3. The monthly payment into the sinking fund that is needed for the replacement of the new machine. We need to separate the information that is given so that we do not mix up interest rates and periods. We can draw a table to help us keep track of interest rates and compounding periods. For the current machine, its value is 550,000 rand. It appreciates at a rate of 15% per annum, compounded annually, and it depreciates at a rate of 8% per annum, compounded annually, over 10 years. The sinking fund that is set up earns an interest of 16% per annum, compounded monthly, with monthly repayments of Rand X, made over 10 years. For question 1 to work out the cost of the new machine in 10 years' time, we use the compound interest formula. Substitute P with the current value of the machine, 550,000 Rand, and replace I with 0, 0,15 and N with 10. You will then get a replacement value cost of the machine in 10 years, which will be 2,225,056 rand and 76 cents. To work out the scrap value of the machine in 10 years' time for question 2, we need to calculate what the depreciated value of the current machine will be by then. Since the machine depreciates in value at a rate of 8% per annum compounded annually, we will use the compound depreciation formula. Substitute P with 550,000 Rand, the depreciation rate I with 0, 0,08 and N with 10. The old machine would have reduced or have a scrap value of 238,913 Rand and 65 cents in 10 years' time. Lastly, let's do part three. The scrap value is always used as a part payment on a new machine. So, from the replacement cost to subtract the scrap value to get the value needed in the sinking fund. So, from the replacement cost, subtract the scrap value to get the value needed in the sinking fund. To calculate the monthly payment, use the future value formula for an annuity date as payment dates start immediately. We can represent the information for the sinking fund on a timeline. Substitute values for I, N and the future value. The monthly interest rate we use is 0, 0,16 divided by 12. N is 10 times 12, which gives us 120 months, 
and the future value is 1,986,143 rand and 11 cents. You can use your calculator to simplify the fractions on either side of the equation and change the subject of the formula to find x. The monthly payment needed for replacement of the new machine is 6,699 rand and 27 cents.